Hey guys, Mr. Hen here with my lovely assistant, Hannah. Good to have Hi. you. <laughs> and today we're going to be working on a cool art activity based off of Paul Klee's painting, Cat and Bird, painted in 1928. All right, what you'll need for this, we got a piece of cardstock and a Sharpie. Uh, you could also do this in pencil uh, on normal paper. Uh, if you are doing using a marker on normal paper. You'll probably want a couple of sheets so it doesn't bleed through onto your table. All right, ready to go? Yep. All right, let's do this. All right, we're gonna get our marker and we're gonna put a dot in each corner. Oh, like we do with the screen. Mm-hmm. All right, yep. no, you're slow good. poke. No, you're good. All right, and we are going to connect the dots. And this is going to give us a nice border around our artwork. See, slow poke. Mm-hmm. All right, now one thing I do in my classes sometimes is I tell my students to fold their paper right in half. We're probably not going to do that today, but what it does is it creases the paper right down the middle. And uh, this cat and bird picture is very much, um, I wouldn't say it's symmetrical perfectly, but it's very balanced. So what's happening on one side is happening on the other. Uh, not a perfect mirror, but it's nice because it's a good example of symmetry. So what we're going to do is right in the middle, we're going to come about a third of the way up. So if you can think about three kind of even sections from top to bottom, we're going to come up to right around in here. We're going to put a heart like this. Okay. And of course, if there were the crease in the paper, the heart would be right in the middle of the crease. Very good. Now we're going to come up to about two thirds up and we're going to put a dot right on the crease if there were a crease, but right in the middle of the heart. Good job. Now we're going to come all the way out here. Oh, pretty wide. And we're going to put a dot that's kind of even with that dot. Okay, so just a little bit of space between the border and your dot. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So you could even take your fingers like this and kind of slide them over to give you a good guesstimate of where you want your next dot to be. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to draw a curved line all the way from one dot to the center dot. Yep. And we're going to do that again over here. Same size arc over there. Good deal. And now we're going to do a curve down and back up. And you can probably guess these are going to end up being cat's eyes. All right, and over this way. Good deal. Now, in the center of each eye, we're going to draw a straight line down, just like this. All the way down. Okay, Good deal. Sorry. No problem. And in this one, too. Right there. That's good. And then we're going to put a little cross in each eye. And that's going to tell us how wide our pupil is because these pupils, they start at a little pointy spot up here, but then they curve out and then come back in. Okay. There you go. And then we'll do right here. And we can go ahead and fill the whole pupil in black. And if you feel comfortable without drawing the little cross piece, you can. It just helps me from my eyes getting too big. Because cat's eyes are not like our eyes. They have a different shape. And so that just helps me. All right, we'll do the same thing with the other one.
awesome. Now, from the left side of the nose, we're going to draw a straight line all the way up to the point between the eyes. We can either start at the eyes or start at the heart, whichever one feels more comfortable. I think I'm more comfortable starting where the eyes are and bringing my straight line down. And this is going to be the bridge of the nose. Okay, and we'll do another straight line to the right side of the little heart nose. There you go. Awesome. Now, underneath the heart, we're going to do an upside down V. Okay, and that's going to be part of the mouth. All right, we're going to leave that B for just a bit. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the corner of the eye here and we're going to go up and we're going to put a dot right up here. Yep, we're going to do the same thing over on this side. Come over to the corner of the eye, come straight up and put a dot right there. And now we're going to draw a curved line from here down to that same point between the eyes. Oh, yeah. That same thing over here. I'm going to start at this point and bring a curved line over the eye and down to the point in between them. Nice okay. <laughs> now, this is really cool because it gives us what we need right here. We're going to come from this side of the V right here. We're going to start to kind of curve a little bit out. We're going to go straight across for a little while. And then we're going to curve up, and we're actually going to touch the edge of the eye and meet up to the point up there at the top. Here we go. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to curve out, go over, curve up, touch the corner of the eye, and the point up there. Very, very cool. Now, we need to finish out the bottom of the mouth, and that's pretty simple. It's just a big U that stretches all the way across. Good. And then if you look at where the middle of the pupil is and you just come straight down, that is where the edge of the neck is. So we'll draw a straight line down there and then we'll come over to the other pupil, line it up, and we got the other line for our neck. Very cool. I think I like yours better than mine. I think I like yours better than mine. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Now we need to do some whiskers, which is really, really cool. So the whiskers start at the side of the heart nose. And what they do is they kind of curve down for a little bit. And then right as they cross the cheek, they start to kind of curve the other direction. And they get almost all the way to the edge of the painting. Okay, We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do another one. They're really close at first. And then they kind of spread out from each other a little bit. Okay, so they get a little bit further apart as they get further away from the nose. And we'll do one more on the left-hand side. Cool. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the right-hand side. We're going to start right on the edge, the outside of the heart. And we're going to curve down to the cheek. And then once we cross the cheek, we're going to kind of level it out and pull it over to the side. All right. Go to the side. And one more. So we'll do three of them. All right, we're looking pretty good. Now, the only thing that we have left is the bird, okay? The bird is kind of cool. It's a little bit like some eye shapes connected with a triangle, okay? So let me explain that. The first thing we're going to do is do a kind of like a little shallow U, okay? Not too, too big. Good. And we're going to do an upside down shallow U that kind of connects it. So it almost looks like a football or an eye. And then we're going to do the head of our bird from this first U line. We're going to uh, continue it up and curve it over. Like yeah. a candy cane. That's right. Kind of like a candy cane. And now we're going to put a little beak on here. So it's kind of part of a triangle out there. And then another little triangle here. So the beak is kind of open. Yeah. And then we're going to just draw that line back. Yep, where we start. And now we just need to put a triangle back here for the tail. Okay. Yep, there you go. And bird has an eye, so we'll give him a little eye. Okay. 
All right. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is the drawing portion of Cat and Bird, uh, inspired by Paul Klee's painting. Now, that's an oil painting that he did in 1928, and Paul Klee uh, loved cats, so that was part of uh, his passion, which is really, really cool. So, we'll probably time-lapse this next part, and we will uh, be coloring our Cat and Bird. Yay. <laughs> Does it have to look exactly like the painting? Um, it can if you want it to. I'll probably color mine pretty close to the painting just to see how close I can get. But honestly, you can be as creative as you want. I want mine to be a blue cat like you do for me. Awesome. <laughs> cool deal. Well, we're all done coloring. I guess yeah. it's time to sign them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think mine is so filled up down here, it would be hard to put it inside the frame. I could. I think I'm going to put it outside the frame down at the bottom. So I'm going to come right down here, and I'm going to sign mine, Mr. Hen. There we go. <laughs> Boston's off screen just chewing on a toy and going crazy. <laughs> yep. Awesome job. Guys, thanks so much for joining us for this uh, interpretation of Paul Klee's artwork. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give us a little like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do that too and hit the notification bell. Till next time. Bye. Bye.